Welcome to our channel. Today, we bring you the top 10 electric guitars on Amazon for under $200. Before we continue, please press the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to receive regular updates whenever we upload a video. Looking for a low-cost backup axe? Are you just getting started? This is a video that you really must watch. We put some of the cheapest guitars to the test and produced a list of the ones that stood out the most. Notice how we used the word affordable rather than cheap. That's because inexpensive guitars are associated with being, well, garbage. Cheap may signify anything from barely capable of creating a sound, to plastic components, to hardware that threatens to fail at any time. This is not something that anyone requires. As a result, we chose inexpensive, which means budget-friendly, yet with a focus on quality. There's no need to spend $1,000 on a guitar when everything on this list is under $200 and is suitable for beginners and advanced musicians. This list focuses on market favorites in the sub $200 price bracket. Based on real customer feedback, reviews, and ratings, while it is unrealistic to expect premium quality from electric guitars under $200, many hidden treasures may serve as excellent first instruments. For skilled performers, these guitars can also be a handy grab-and-go or backup instrument. Number 10 is the Squire Affinity Stratocaster Triple S. The iconic Stratocaster from Fender's cheap subsidiary, Squire, is at the top of our list. This affordable model has everything you'd expect from a Strat, plus a few sophisticated design features that elevate it above the Bullet Series Strats. The conventional double cutaway body is built of alder, and there are a variety of wood finishes to select from. There's a bolt-on maple neck with a maple fretboard and 21 frets, and a maple fretboard. Three basic single-coil pickups and responsive controls are featured on this Strat. The sound is pretty much what you'd expect from an inexpensive Strat, with plenty of brightness and sparkle, as well as a hint of real Fender tone. The Affinity Strat has a classic Stratocaster design with its smooth contoured double cutaway body form, so there are no complaints in the design category. However, in comparison to the entry-level bullet line, the Affinity series has a little more oomph in its looks. The Affinity series offers more eye-catching and distinctive finishes than the entry-level bullets, evident in the color options. In addition, on the Affinity Strat, features like the headstock are more appealing. Number 9 is Epiphone Les Paul Special 2. We couldn't make a list of the finest beginning electrics without adding a Gibson subsidiary Epiphone's real Les Paul. The Special 2 is an exceptionally popular guitar with everything you'd want from a Les Paul and an affordable beginner's instrument. This instrument features two humbuckers, a 650R and a 700T, and simple controls, and dependable hardware, making it a deal for beginners. The Les Paul Special 2 E1, Epiphone's best-selling model, is an excellent method for novices to get started on guitars while enjoying the feel and tone of a Les Paul. Seasoned pros adore the Special 2 E1 because it's a great-sounding workhorse that allows them to leave their more expensive guitars at home. In addition, the Epiphone Les Paul Special 2 E1 comes with the Gibson's customer service and our legendary Epiphone Lifetime Limited Warranty, which protects your Les Paul Special 2 E1 against faults in materials and artistry. Get yours today from your local authorized Epiphone dealer. The Les Paul Special 2 was previously known as the Les Paul Special 2. Number 8 is the Yamaha Pacific Series PAC012. Yamaha is the king of affordable quality, and we'd be crazy not to include Pacific on our list. As we mentioned in our entry review of the PAC012, this guitar is a fantastic value. You receive a lot more for your money because you aren't paying for the brand name. The PA012 features a solid agathis body with a maple neck and rosewood fretboard, with 22 frets and a well-defined but comfortable double cutaway body. The two single-coil and handbucker pickups, as well as the five-way pickup selector switch and tone controls, give you a lot of sound options. With the addition of a vintage-style tremolo bridge, you've got a highly playable, comfortable, and attractive package with a sound to match. Number 7 is ESP LTD EC10. This black beauty from ESP's LTD demonstrates real rock flair and a highly playable neck at a price that won't break the bank. The EC10 has a solid basswood body with a glossy black finish and a single cutaway, a bolt-on narrow U-shaped maple neck with a rosewood fretboard and 24 extra jumbo frets allows for quick playing and string bending. The neck and bridge positions of the EC10 are voiced by two ESP-designed passive LH100 handbuckers, which are strong enough to handle rock and metal lead playing while staying articulate and warm when playing without distortion. With a two-nomadic type bridge and stop bar tailpiece as well as a single master volume and tone control knob, the hardware is kept simple. 
Number 6 is Squire Bullet Mustang HH. This cheap Squire Mustang Bullet is a good pick and provides fantastic value for guitarists of all levels, whether you have tiny hands or just want a relaxed Mustang sound. The classic design, robust build, and winning sound on offer earn top points on value at far under $200. Even though it has simple handbuckers, the tone it produces is surprisingly rich and soulful, making it suitable for everything from indie to punk music. It's a lightweight axe with a basswood body, C-shaped maple neck, and shortened 24-inch scale length that's a lot of fun to play. Number 5 is Jackson JS22 Dinky. The Jackson JS22 Dinky is a budget-friendly guitar that would fit both experienced and novice players. It's ideal for anything from gentle rock to thrash metal, with a healthy mix of edge and grace. It has an archtop basswood body with a deep double cutaway design that allows easy access to the 24 jumbo frets on the neck, a bolt-on graphite reinforced maple speed neck. It's quick, durable, and enjoyable to play on. Two high-output Jackson-designed handbuckers provide the guitar's voice delivering the distinctive Jackson tone while easily handling clean and distorted tones. It's finished off with black hardware, a tremolo bridge, and a distinctive Jackson headstock. Number 4 is Squire Affinity Telecaster. Some Telecasters sell for as much as $10,000, but not this one. As the Affinity Telecaster demonstrates, Fender's budget division Squire is a master of putting together cheap copies of its parent company's most recognizable models. This model includes the classic Telecaster body form and unique headstock, making it ideal for beginners and musicians on a tight budget. In addition, it brings out the vintage with the butterscotch blonde finish. The C-shaped neck piece is quite playable, and the whole package feels well made for such a small amount of beans. The electronics are classic Tele, with two simple yet efficient single coils at the neck and bridge positions. Number 3 is ESP LTD Viper 10. The Viper 10 from ESP's LTD is a worthy addition to your shortlist of metalheads on a budget. LTD is focused on getting the fundamentals well with this cheap axe, and it has paid off. This sturdy guitar features a lightweight basswood construction and a classic SG with attitude Viper body design. The playability is great for the price, thanks to the thin maple neck and 24 extra jumbo fret. Two LH100 handbuckers are installed on this Viper, which produces a surprisingly rich tone that's ideal for rock, metal, and even blues. Although the hardware is minimal, it all works together to provide a reliable experience. Number 2 is Ibanez GRX20 ZBKN. The Ibanez GRX20 should be one of your top selections if you're searching for a beginning axe with a little attitude. With two finishes to select from, the popular body features a double cutaway RG style design, jewel blue and black knight. It also has a rosewood fretboard and 22 medium fret, as well as a decent quality bolt-on. This entry-level offering has enough bite for damaged tones, but it also works well for softer, cleaner tones, thanks to two Ibanez-designed infinity handbuckers at the neck and bridge. Given the guitar's low price, the overall feel and sound it produces are a pleasant surprise. Then, in 1986, they joined up with Frank Zappa's guitarist Steve Vey to produce a new design, which resulted in the 1987 release of the JEM and RG series, and Ibanez hasn't looked back since. Because of their evident body form similarities to Fender Stratocasters, these guitars are known as the Super Strats. The GIO series is their current entry-level guitars, with the GRX20Z combines the Super Strat type body with the two handbucking pickups, receiving the highest rating under $200. Number 1 is the Dean Vendetta XM. Dean's entry-level offering, featuring rock at its core, it includes a solid Polonia body with Dean's signature Vendetta double cutaway design and winged headstock as well as a slim bolt-on maple neck with a rosewood fretboard holding 24 frets and a handful of other bold color options to pick from. The XMT doesn't have many features, but it does a good job with the basics. For intriguing vibro effects, a vintage tremolo bridge and whammy bar are incorporated. Thanks for viewing this video. Comment down below which part you liked the most, or click on the thumbs up button if you liked the video.